Hello, Piano Turtle here. Yeah, I'm about to enter the Manhattan School of Music to give a class on piano transcriptions. So, I thought I would show you around. Uh, I want to show you uh, the surroundings of the Manhattan School of Music as well as uh, the Juilliard School and Lincoln Center. So they recently moved the entrance to the back. Right across it is a park, so that's kind of lovely. And then across that is the Grant's uh, Memorial. General Grant's National Memorial. It says it's the largest mausoleum in North America. And, and further down is uh, Riverside Drive, and you can see the Hudson River. Uh, Solomon Makovsky, he was my piano teacher when I attended MSM. He just showed me his uh, recital hall. It's very nice. I know some of these people on the wall. Oh, it brings back lots of memories. All right, on to teaching the class. So I just got out of it. Um, I had a wonderful time teaching. This time I thought I'd just go in cold and conversation style. Overall, I thought it went very well, even though I kind of was all over the place. We had a lot of fun. Manhattan School of Music is near Columbia University, walking distance, a couple of blocks down. So here I am in the campus of Columbia University. I thought that I I share this with you. They did shoot uh, Sam Raimi's original Spider-Man on campus. In, in the movie, you can clearly see where Peter Parker was talking to the professor. Um, I walked these grounds as well when I was attending the school because I used the uh, Columbia University's gym. It's a huge campus. All the buildings you see belong to Columbia University. Here's the main entrance. Now, of course, you go to school and you get hungry you need to eat. Well, there is no shortage of restaurants near the place. One of my favorite is the Mill Korean restaurant. I love to order their calamari in their special spicy sauce. Mmm, so delicious. Okay, it looks empty. The Mill's restaurant is closed. Yeah, I guess COVID got to them. Instead of eating here, I have a better idea. New York pizza. I'm going to take you to my favorite spot, Familia restaurant. I had slices of pizza in there, but my favorite pizza restaurant is across the street, right over there. Yeah, you can see it right there. Coronet Pizza. There it is. Now the camera is not going to do it justice on how okay. big one of the slices are. But, oh my, look at that. There it is, folks. It's the size of the entire tray. So here's Columbus Circle. I figure I would show you Columbus Circle. It's a very famous street in New York because, not only because of the sculptures, but because you can enter Central Park. What's near Columbus Circle is um, uh, the Museum of Arts and Design. And there's also the New York Institute of Technology. Lots of things to see around here. There's also the New York uh, Athletic Club. But we're going to take a look at Central Park. Um, Lincoln Center is very close to here. Uh, Columbus Circle is 59 and Lincoln Center is 66. Oh, yeah. Who's, is there a body behind behind there? Anyway, and you have um, horse carriages and strollers taking you around the place. And there's always no shortage of joggers, which is actually very inspiring. It makes me want to join them and, and jog. So here we are uh, on 67th Street. I just came from that direction, Central Park. And, and there's Lincoln Center over there. There's the new station from 67 to 66. You'll come across the new station. And on Columbus Avenue, as we're walking from 67th on Columbus Avenue, there's the American Folk Art Museum. And when we get to Broadway, we'll be right at Lincoln Center. All of these places are worth a visit. Whenever you're in New York, make sure you stop by Lincoln Center. Looks like there's some construction going on. 
the architecture is amazing. So here's the map. I just came from Central Park and I took the side road, the curvy, you know, windy road there and came out at 67th. Alice Tully Hall. I was there a number of times. Uh, David Gethin Hall. Uh, Metropolitan Opera House. The Library of the Performing Arts. The Good Shepherd Faith Presbyterian Church located right next to the Juilliard School. I always find the it kind of funny to have uh, such a cute looking building right next to a very modern looking building. Here's the Juilliard store. It used to be uh, on the second, second floor and it used to be much smaller. This is all new. When I went there, it's just the side of a wall, but now it's all glass and a restaurant in there. It looks cool and futuristic and modern. If you keep walking down forward, there's an IMAX theater, AMC theater. Walk the other way, right there, is Rosa Mexicano. And if you're ever there, make sure you order the special cricket tacos. I would come out of the subway and instead of walking right to the school, I would walk left because there's a fountain there. And sometimes I would just like to walk that way to, to hear the water, Maybe if I arrive a little early, I would sit there and do some of the homework that I never finished. Now this pool, the Paul Milston Pool and Fountain, I used to skip pennies across this whole pond from the right side all the way to the left side. And my penny would end up on the other side's concrete. Now I have to point out that this green area you see here that didn't exist. That got that got completely redone. Uh, before, this is the uh, above street level. Before it was all flat, and it connected to the entrance of the Juilliard School. So you you can only enter it on the second floor. Now they dis uh, disconnected it, and you can enter from the ground floor. We're looking at the dorm right there. That's the Juilliard's dorm. Rather expensive to live uh, live up there. LaGuardia High School of Music and Art. That's the school that I uh, auditioned uh, for using the Chopin Polonaise. Crossed as the Martin Luther King Jr. High School. I want to show you one more place that will give you one of the most breathtaking visuals and it also make you feel like you're in the middle of the water, middle of the Hudson River. But before that, instead of walking right, I will walk left and there's a small little park right in the middle of these streets, 64th. I don't remember the upside down rhinoceros. There. Here it is, Riverside South. That's 64th over there. Yeah, I used to take dates and walk, all, walk them all the way down. Oh, it's only a 10 minute walk. That right there is my favorite spot, Pier 1. Oh, the pier view is just, just breathtaking. Uh, today's not the best day. It's rather cloudy, but boy, on a on a sunny day, wow, the view is incredible. Yeah, it's a great waterfront spot for walks and sunset views when when the buildings are all lit up. Yeah, Mr. Faber actually lived in one of the apartments. I, I forget whether it, it was 160 Riverside Boulevard Apartments or 180, uh, but I can. It's such a vivid memory. Uh, I was looking out his window and looking at this view of the Hudson River. Now you can only walk along the outer edge. Uh, down there where it's mossy, ooh, don't do that. I speak from experience. Well, here is the view. You know what? Even though it's cloudy, it is still spectacular. You get to that corner over there, you feel like you're in the middle middle of the river. You know, whenever whenever uh, school got a little stressful, one of my friends actually told me, stop rushing, you know? Stop rushing, stop hustling, take a deep, deep breath. Take a deep breath, take a walk. And you know what? 
I took his advice and I walked out here. And somehow, things just get a little better.